in today's video we're going to be talking about uh, 3.7 volt 500 5000 milliamp 18.75 lithium polymer cells with BMS from battery hookup guys this is what we have here if you're just joining to this channel just coming in and this is what I received from battery hookup and let's go ahead and open up and see what we have here I'm filming this right outside my deck and I'm gonna be showing you some other stuff we're gonna be utilizing these batteries for and that is the case right here sitting outside my deck is a solid metal so the thing is a steel so this side open then we can able to stop these batteries in here we can take this guy here and flip it over I can use different box for different applications the one I've shown you on my previous videos so if you haven't seen those make sure seen those make sure you go back and um, and watch my videos on my playlist on my recent videos JW Solar USA coming live from Minnesota Command Center so let's open up this guy here and see what we're gonna be going through or we looking at here So guys, this is what it is. Well, package as always. Kudos to battery hookup. As you can see, this battery comes in four boxes. So 19 in each box. So this is what we have here. So basically these batteries are for um these batteries are for ring, ring doorbells. Call if you look it up on uh, Amazon or eBay or all the other websites. Ring, R I N G, ring doorbell. These batteries are for the stuff, and these batteries are embedded with um, it's two cells and goes to parallel. So each cell has uh, a BMS which is a one amp an amp BMS and uh, we decided to um, they decided to they have two wires two reds two blacks so the two reds you can tie them together positive to positive negative to negative then you can have a complete two amp BMS which you parallel it and you go about connects the positive and the positive, negative and negative, and uh, ready to go. So use it for charge and discharge. All right, these are the cells. <laughs> well, guys, these are the batteries. Well, to my surprise, or to my dismay, I was thinking these batteries are kind of a little bit bigger. According to the picture, they have one battery cup. But well, not um, realizing I'm gonna be using a dingy dingy batteries, really small, that you can use for your home phone or doorbell, uh, a ring doorbell or security camera bell. It's a little dingy dingy one. <laughs> I didn't realize that they are so small. But anyways, a lot of work we're gonna be doing here, stacking these batteries into. Uh, parallel and series if we decide to do that so look at all of them in the boxes so I don't even bother to open them all up because it's just they're so tiny tiny batteries here so hoping that a little bit bigger so I spit it on the video or on the uh, list there on the battery cup it has a sticky back here you can do probably sandwich these batteries this way and get them for see they can hold up really well like a glue like so you can able to do this way and get a series connection since each battery has um, 
volt, uh, one amp. So it's two batteries in here. So it has uh, one amp on each cell. So it's two cell as tested with battery cup. And uh, these batteries, um, they show on the test about 95% um, uh, accuracy. So we're gonna see, it's a lot of work here. This is what I'm saying here, guys. If you like to do tiny projects, okay, welcome to show. So you just have to snip this guy right here. If we cut this guy out, hope you can catch this on the video, on the camera. If you can cut this guy, the reds, cut it one, one at a time. Don't cut it all together. You don't want to short the battery. So if you want to cut probably all positive, positive, I think it's fine. The white we're not going to use is going to be just for, that's supposed to be the battery temperature sensor. And uh, this is how they look like. So we cut positive and cut the negatives right here. We connect them. But this is going to be an interesting uh, uh, project. It's going to take a while. It's gonna consume time, and uh, this is what I did. I've done. Separate them. It has like a glue-like. So what I want to do, basically, I'm gonna go like this. Stack it. I'm gonna stack them just like this. So since I have uh, 76 cells here, it's 19 times 4. Hope my math is correct. So this is how they look like. And we're just going to take the positive to the positive here. Positive to positive, they tie to each other. Positive to positive, they tie each other negatives. So if I wanted, I can use a boss bar on the side here and just solder it, like welding it. Solder to the boss bar, solder to the boss bar. That's how we keep going to give us um, the, uh, the amperage so we can pass the current and the voltage simultaneously on the batteries setting 11 of these in parallel 11 of them in parallel so we have in the four strings of 11s so if you calculate a 5 times 11 which is here they said 5000 milliamp so that's that's a 5 amp so 18.75 watt times 11 then you get the answer okay if you're looking at it the model number for this lithium ion polymer battery polymer battery is gonna be uh, B15169 these are popular batteries so you can see now it has two BMS one wire goes with um, an amp BMS plus the other so it gives you um, 2 amp at a discharge rate at 0.4 C 0.4 C discharge rate so it gives you about 2 amps coming up from these little guys so since they already have the sticky thing behind here I think this is how I'm gonna go just keep stacking them all the way like and subscribe JW Solo USA thanks for watching and stay tuned as we go with this project live here at the command center in Minnesota. Bye for now. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned. These are the batteries here. Okay. I hope you can get this model number as I'm trying to hold it for you to see it. Alright.